What's up, everyone? I wanted to talk about a topic that I recently saw while reading music news stories. Spotify is rolling out a new feature for artists where they can buy mobile banner time and be featured on Spotify's homepage. The article is from NME, which stands for New Musical Express. Now, a lot of people would see the headline of the main idea here and go no further and think, wow, Spotify is doing something great for artists that aren't well known. They're giving them a chance to get more exposure, and it's probably not a large expense either. Well, you'd be wrong. I mean, I don't know how expensive it is actually, but I wanted to talk more about the actual catch. And yes, there's a catch. Let me show you and just read the article to you so you know what's going on. Spotify launches tool for artists to pay to feature on home screen. Artists can now pay to have their music appear as a mobile banner on the homepage. Spotify has launched a new tool which allows artists to pay to have their music promoted on the site's homepage. The new marketing feature named Showcase was announced last week when Spotify shared a blog post confirming it will be offering artists a new way to target potential listeners. The feature works by allowing the artist to select a song, an EP, or an entire album to appear as a mobile banner on the site's homepage and cater the promotion to a specific demographic of listeners. Musicians will then be able to select a headline for the Showcase banner to declare whether it is a new release, if they're currently on tour, if the song is a deep cut or currently gathering a lot of streams, and the final showcase recommendation will appear as a banner at the top of the home screen. The streaming giant has also claimed that the users who see a showcase banner are six times more likely to listen, and that users will be able to develop multiple campaigns for the same release. Showcase also allows artists to separate their audience into different categories and cater their campaigns to reach each type of listener accordingly. These variations include active audience, referring to users who have intentionally played a song over the past 28 days, super, those who are the most dedicated, moderate, who stream less frequently but still intentionally, and light, anyone who has streamed a song once or twice over the past 28 days. Alright, so here's the catch. It also outlines that to use the new tool, artists will need to meet a certain criteria, including having accumulated at least 1,000 streams over the past 28 days in one of the available target markets. From there, those eligible can set their budget within customized limits and see a detailed breakdown of the engagement from each campaign. So some people might be saying, well, that must not be that hard to do. It's actually not that easy, even if you have decent music. You're like a small fish in an ocean full of whales and sharks, and the same thing goes for YouTube. It's not easy to get monetized on YouTube and reach the 1,000 sub and 4,000 watch hour criteria. I'm going to be making a video on that in the future if I ever get monetized. Even if I don't get monetized, I'm going to make the video, but I just don't know when yet. Now I'd like to introduce Exhibit B to the court. This is an article from the website iGroove from 2022. Are there really only 200,000 professional artists on Spotify? When Spotify reported in their loud and clear update that only 200,000 artists on their platform are professionals, it certainly raised eyebrows and drew to criticism. Of course, Spotify didn't base this on people's vocals, rap skills, how well they can play their instrument, or the quality of the songwriting. What they mean is artists who make good music and or know how to market it properly and who can thus reach a certain audience. This is how Spotify seeks to justify why only 52,600 artists were able to generate more than 10,000 US dollars. Spotify pointed out that out of the 8 million artists who release music on their platform, 5.4 million uploaded fewer than 10 tracks. So they mean artists that make good music and who probably already have some money where they can hire somewhat of a team around them to promote them. Most artists don't have that. All right, then it goes on to give these stats. Only half a million artists with more than a thousand listeners. What's more convincing are the monthly listeners which indicate whether an artist is marketing their music well. The loud and clear page shows us that there are 1.731 million artists with more than 50 monthly listeners. Or to put it in different terms, around 6.27 million artists reached fewer than 50 million listeners every month. 558,000 artists reached more than 1,000 listeners while 214,000 artists were able to cross the 10,000 listener threshold, which is right about where Spotify sets the benchmark for professional artists. If you have more than 100,000 monthly listeners, you've made it into a club of 53,000 artists, which would be congruent with the 52,600 artists who generated more than $10,000.
This is even more depressing because probably even most of the 53,000 people in the club are making little money off of 100,000 monthly listeners. It goes on further to show this graphic with the number of monthly listeners that the 8 million or so artists have on Spotify. As you can see, and if you can add, about 7.5 million out of the 8 million artists on Spotify have less than 1,000 monthly listeners a month. That's almost 94% of artists. So 6% of artists are actually making any type of money on Spotify. Most of them are barely making a living even being in the club, but I guess it's just like the middle class barely getting by. Now look at these final numbers. Let's now take a look at the individual songs. According to Spotify, there are 78.4 million songs on the platform, 82 million including podcasts. Out of these, 22.37% or 17.54 million tracks were streamed fewer than 100 times. 38.69 million songs reached 500 streams since their upload, which in turn means that more than half of all the songs on Spotify have fewer than 500 streams to show. Only a little more than 20% of songs generated more than 5,000 streams, and 4.36% of songs broke the 100,000 stream mark. Almost 60 million of the 78 million songs on Spotify get less than 1,000 streams. And I think that's total and not even monthly. So the little guy on Spotify is still going to take a beating after this. They're never going to be able to grow their brand or music career through Spotify because they're never going to get the thousand streams criteria every 28 days to be able to buy an ad that promotes them on Spotify's homepage. So don't be fooled into thinking that Spotify is doing something good for smaller artists here. There are some artists that this is going to benefit, but it's artists that are already doing somewhat well on the platform already. I don't even have to mention the big names. They don't even really need much promotion. Anyone new that's trying to grow on the largest music streaming platform is going to continue to get lost in a sea of whales and sharks. I know there's the issue of having to weed out artists that aren't as good or marketable, but maybe Spotify should do something where they get rid of the qualification criteria and create a new section on the platform that caters to the very small artist that pays for promotion. Even the delusional ones that think they sound like Mariah Carey, but actually sound like an injured seal. Spotify will make even more money and some really good struggling artists will actually have a real shot at making something of their music career. There are plenty of really good artists that never get discovered. So if you think that the cream rises to the top, it's a very small portion of the cream that rises to the top. If you also think that social media and platforms like YouTube and Spotify don't have gatekeepers, you would be very wrong. Everyone thinks that you could just hop on one of these platforms and rise to stardom overnight. But it's the same formula as the real world. That whole concept that if you're good enough, you'll make it to the top is bullshit in my opinion. For every one really good artist that succeeds, there's probably at least a thousand that are never found. And I think that's a conservative estimate. Listen, I'm not an expert on Spotify and their business operations, but this is my opinion. Everything is rigged for the people at the top, and we have the gatekeepers that decide who gets a shot. It's the same with everyday regular life, and it's the same in the music industry too, whether that's, like I said, in real life or online. I guess if you know more about this topic or Spotify's business operations and why they wouldn't open this up to more people, then let me know in the comments. I'm assuming it's partly about quality control. All right, so I just wanted to give you all this very important information. It's important if you're a music artist and like to find out about the industry, obviously. I'm not so sure anything is going to change about it, though. All right, so that's my opinion, and I'll see you in the next video.